the only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Executive Order 13,159 by President of the United States locking property of the government of the Russian Federation relating to the disposition of highly enriched uranium extracted from nuclear weapons. Executive Order 13,160 signed by President William J. Clinton June 21, 2000 Federal Register Page Date 65 FR 39,279 June 26, 2000 See the Notes section for a listing of executive orders affected by or related to the issuance of this executive order. More info See the Notes section for a listing of executive orders affected by or related to the issuance of this executive order. Executive Order 13,159 of June 21, 2000 Blocking property of the government of the Russian Federation relating to the disposition of highly enriched uranium extracted from nuclear weapons by the authority vested in need as President by the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America, including the International Emergency. Economic Powers Act, i.e. EPA 50 U.S.C. 1701 debt CQ. The National Emergencies Act 50 U.S.C. 1601 debt CQ. And Section 301 of Title III, United States Code. I, William J. Clinton, President of the United States of America. In view of the policies underlying Executive Order 12,938 of November 14, 1994, and Executive Order 13,085 of May 26, 1998, find that the risk of nuclear proliferation created by the accumulation of a large volume of weapons usable fissile material in the territory of the Russian Federation constitutes an unusual and extraordinary threat to the national security and foreign policy of the United States, and hereby declare a national emergency to deal with that threat. I hereby order. Section 1. A major national security goal of the United States is to ensure that fissile material removed from Russian nuclear weapons pursuant to various arms control and disarmament agreements is dedicated to peaceful uses, subject to transparency measures, and protected from diversion to activities of proliferation concern. As reflected in Executive Order 13085, the full implementation of the agreement between the Government of the United States of America and the Government of the Russian Federation concerning the disposition of highly enriched uranium extracted from nuclear weapons, dated February 18, 1993, and related contracts and agreements collectively, the HEU. Agreements is essential to the attainment of this goal. The HEU agreements provide for the conversion of approximately 500 metric tons of highly enriched uranium contained in Russian nuclear weapons into low enriched uranium for use as fuel in commercial nuclear reactors. In furtherance of our national security goals, all heads of departments and agencies of the United States government shall continue to take all appropriate measures within their authority to further the full implementation of the HEU agreements. Seconds to Government of the Russian Federation assets directly related to the implementation of the HEU agreements currently may be subject to attachment, judgment, decree, lien, execution, garnishment, or other judicial process, thereby jeopardizing the full implementation of the HEU agreements to the detriment of U.S. foreign policy. In order to ensure the preservation and proper and complete transfer to the government of the Russian Federation of all payments due to it under the HEU agreements, and except to the extent provided in regulations, orders, directives, or licenses that may hereafter be issued pursuant to this order. All property and interests in property of the government of the Russian Federation directly related to the implementation of the HEU agreements that are in the United States, that hereafter come within the United States, or that are hereafter come within the possession or control of United States persons, including 
their overseas branches are hereby blocked and may not be transferred, paid, exported, withdrawn, or otherwise dealt in unless licensed or authorized pursuant to this order. Any attachment, judgment, decree, lien, execution, garnishment, or other judicial process is null and void with respect to any property or interest in property blocked pursuant to this order. Second three. For the purposes of this order, a the term person means an individual or entity, b the term entity means a partnership, association, trust, joint venture, corporation, or other organization. c the term United States person means any United States citizen, permanent resident alien, juridical person organized under the laws of the United States or any jurisdiction within the United States, including foreign branches, or any person in the United States. And D. The term government of the Russian Federation means the government of the Russian Federation, any political subdivision, agency, or instrumentality thereof, and any person owned or controlled by, or acting for or on behalf of the government of the Russian Federation. Second four. A. The Secretary of the Treasury, in consultation with the Secretary of State, the Secretary of Energy, and, as appropriate, other agencies, is hereby authorized to take such actions, including the promulgation of rules and regulations, and to employ all powers granted to me by IEPA, as may be necessary to carry out the purposes of this order. The Secretary of the Treasury may review the any of these functions to other officers and agencies of the United States government. All agencies of the United States government are hereby directed to take all appropriate measures within their statutory authority to carry out the provisions of this order. Be nothing contained in this order shall relieve a person from any requirement to obtain the license or other authorization from any department or agency of the United States government in compliance with applicable laws and regulations subject to the jurisdiction of the department or agency. Second 5. This order is not intended to create, nor does it create, any right, benefit, or privilege substantive or procedural, enforceable at law by a party against the United States, its agencies, officers, or any other person. Second 6. A. This order is effective at 12.01 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time on June 22, 2000. B. This order shall be transmitted to the Congress and published in the Federal Register. Text. Executive Order 13159 by